Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Dial, and if you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another podcast episode. And if you're out there and you want to receive mindset emails from me every single week on Monday morning, explaining to you what you should be focusing on with your intentions and your mindset in order to make it a great week, go to mondayemail.com right now. Once again, mondayemail.com right now. And it's absolutely free. I'll start sending you Monday emails every single week week. Today, we're going to be talking about your standards. We're going to talk about the standards that you hold yourself to, that you hold everybody to, that you hold yourself to in every aspect of your life. And if you can understand this, if you can hold yourself accountable to the levels that are above what you currently do, you will grow in every aspect of your life and you will create an amazing life. And in this episode, I'm going to give you tips on how to do so. So, First off, before we go any further, let's get really clear on exactly what standards are. Standards are what you deem acceptable and unacceptable in your life. It's that simple. That's the the easiest I'm going to make it. Standards are what you deem acceptable and unacceptable. There are levels that you will not let yourself drop below. And there are standards that are attached to your identity. Your life, where it is currently at this point right now, is because of your standards. Everything in your life is because of your standards. How you look, how your body looks, where your business is at, where your bank account is at, where your relationships are at, where your friendships are at, where your marriage is at, where your relationship with your kids is at, the cleanliness of your house. All of those things are because of your standards. A standard is something that you will not let yourself drop below But this beautiful thing about that is that there's always another level to your current standard. I'll give you a really quick example. Majority of you guys listening are probably not going to get done listening to this podcast episode and go shoot some black tar heroin, right? Probably below your standards. You know, for some of you, maybe it's not, but for majority of you guys, I think that probably is. But stopping just short of your goal is something that you do. Giving up on yourself too early is something that you do. Hitting the snooze button three times before finally waking up is something that you do. So, you know, shooting black tar heroin, something that you don't do. That's below your standards. But giving giving up early on your goal, not below your standards. Hitting the snooze button, not below your standards. People love to focus on habits. And it's important. Habits are important. But your habits are the offspring of your standards. When your standards are clear and defined, your habits will follow. I'll give you an example. You know, a lot of people want to have a morning routine and develop the habit of having a morning routine, but they don't have a standard of waking up when their alarm goes off. They don't have a standard of going to bed early. They don't have a standard of doing what they say they're going to do. They don't have a a standard of prioritizing their health in prioritizing their sleep. They don't have a standard of making sure that everything in the morning is ready before they go to bed. So, you know, you won't shoot black tar heroin, but you do struggle getting up in the morning. Why? Standards. There's some people who have the standard of they wake up every single morning, they wake up every single morning at 5 a.m. You might not. You might. You have to see sleeping in as the same mental disgust as shooting black tar heroin, right? Now, those might not seem equivalent to you and I completely get it, but there needs to, you need to understand heroin below your levels, sleeping in, well, that's part of your levels. That's your standard that you're, that you're allowing yourself to, to go to and your habits will be dictated by your standards. So let me give you a couple more examples. So it makes sense, right? If you look at your body, is it your dream body? Could it be better? I love using the body and working out in all of this as as an example because your body is literally the physical manifestation of your habits and your standards. Your body is literally the physical manifestation of your habits and your standards. Is your body the body that you want? Is it your dream body? Could it be better? Well, it's because of that, whatever your body looks like is because of your standards. Do you eat fast food? Do you eat greasy food? Do you eat wings? Do you eat pizza? All of that 
is just a standard that you're sticking to. There's some people that eat crappy food and that's just part of their standard. There's some people that will never allow themselves to eat crappy food because it's below their standards. I'm not saying there's right or wrong. I'm not here to judge. I'm just saying wherever your life is, is because of your standards. You know, I'll give you an example. Let's say, uh, let's say you drop food in the parking lot. Are you going to pick that food up and eat that food after it's been on the parking lot for a little while? Mm, Probably not. Why? Because it's below your standards, right? But maybe eating McDonald's when you know you shouldn't isn't below your standards. What does it come down to? Your standards. That's it. Look at your body again. How often do you work out? Is the amount of time, let me say this, the amount of times that you work out is your personal standard. I know people that work out twice a day. I know people that haven't worked out in 10 years. What's the difference? Standards. That's the difference between the two of them. So if you want to change your body, what do you need to change? You need to change your standards. What you deem acceptable. For some people, working out once a week is a win. For some people, working out less than five times a week is a loss. What's the difference? Standards. That's it. So if you want to change your body, what do you need to change? You need to change your standards, your workout standards, your lifestyle standards, your mental standards, how hard you go in the gym in those standards. You live and you die by your standards and your life will become the result of your standards. They make the life that you currently have and they make the life that you will have in the future. The only question is, do your standards currently line up with the future that you want? Because the only difference between you now and you in 10 years, and if you, you know, if you fast forward 10 years and you have the perfect life, your dreams, all of the money that you want, the relationship that you want, the the family that you want, the children that you want, the lifestyle that you want. The only difference between you now and that person is the person in 10 years has way different standards than the standards that you currently have. That's the difference between the two of them. There's you now and there's the perfect you. And that perfect you has fully maxed out on their true potential and not wasted their true potential. What's the difference between you now and that version of you? Standards. And this is everything in your life. You have standards for literally every single thing in your life. Do you realize that? And so it's important to go through and actually start to think about what are my standards around this? What are my standards around that? Are my standards high enough in my business in order to create the freedom in the life that I want? I don't know. That's for you to decide. So let me give you a couple of examples. I'll give you a couple of examples so we can kind of put a little bit of flavor to this and make it a little bit more colorful, right? If you look at your goals, for instance, right? Do you come up short on your goals? Do you give up? Do you not stop until the goal is hit no matter how long it takes? Well, the difference between those, standards. If you come up short or you give up short, or if you don't stop until the goal is hit, the difference between the two of those is just simply your standards. So if you want to hit your goals more often, what do you need to do? You need to change your standards. What are the standards that you need to have in order to hit the goals that you want to hit? Okay. What's another thing? Relationships. Do you cheat on your significant other? Well, if you do, that's a standard. If you're like, absolutely not, that's also a standard. Do you have date night every single week? If you don't, well, that's a standard. If you do, because it's like, absolutely, we do not miss it, that's also a standard. Do you turn off your phone at 7 p.m. just so it can be the two of you? Well, that's a standard. Do you spend all night watching Netflix? It's also a standard. All of it comes down to your standards and what you deem acceptable and absolutely unacceptable. What about your family? Do you work so hard that you usually miss dinner with your wife and kids? That's a standard. Do you disconnect at 6 p.m. so that you can be fully present parent? That's also a standard. The only difference between the two of those is what is acceptable and what is unacceptable. For some people, missing the majority of the dinners is just a standard. For some people, They will never miss a dinner with their children and their wife and their husband, whoever it might be. That's a standard. You know, some people's kids, you you know, like I know, I know for instance, when I was a kid, one of the standards that my mom had, even though she worked really hard, one of the standards was that she would come to every single one of my, my sports games. I never told her to, 
but I love that she always came. That was a standard for her. What are your standards around stuff like that? Have you gone through and actually become very intentional with every single thing that you do and figure out what your standards are? Okay, what's another thing? Your body, once again. Do you work out every single day? Do you follow a healthy lifestyle? Well, those things are standards. Do you eat fast food? Do you skip workouts often? Has it been months? Has it been years since you've worked out? Well, that's your standard. That's all that it comes down to. Your entire life comes down to your standard. What about your bank account? How much your bank account is at? How much you spend? How much you make? All of that comes down to standards. The work that you do, the thing that you do for money is a standard. For some people, they get to a certain level and they're like, there's no way I'll ever go below this. Cool. That's the new standard. For some people, it's just like, I just need to get by, man. Cool. It's a choice. That's your standard. What about your personal growth? How much you grow yourself intellectually, your personal development? Whatever you do there, there's standards attached to it. Some people listening to this podcast will not go to bed without reading 10 pages every single night. Some people haven't picked up a fucking book in 10 years. What's the difference? Standards. That's it. The way that you do one thing is the way you do everything. So if you're slipping in your standards in your relationship, it's probably happening in other places as well. Because you live and die by your standards. Your standards make you who you are. You have to realize that your standards make you. The question is, the standards that you currently have, are they going to make the life that you want? You live and die by your standards. The only difference between you now and you in 10 years with the perfect life, with the dreams that you want, the house, the cars, the clothes, the family, the the bank account, the freedom, the happiness, the joy, the peace, the love, the only difference between you now and that person are their standards. You have to ask yourself, what's the difference between you now and the standards that you have and that person? If you were to look and look into the future, if I could say, hey, describe the perfect life that you want. And imagine that somebody has that perfect life already. They already have every single thing. There is nothing missing from their life. It's not even you. It's just somebody else that exists in this world right now. And they already have everything that you want. They have the success, the happiness, the love, the peace, the joy, the family, the cars, clothes, the freedom, all of those things. They have everything that you want. What's the difference between them and you? Describe to me in detail. What's the difference between them And you, can you get very clear on the difference between the two of you? Can you? Let me know. What's the difference between you and them? And then what you realize is you start looking at yourself and you start seeing where some of your standards are coming up a little bit short. And you start looking at where that other person is. You start going, man, that person has some much higher standards in the relationship. Person has some much higher standards in their work ethic. Person has some much higher standards in their, you know, their workouts. That person has some much higher standards in the food that they eat. That person has much higher standards in X, Y, Z, everything. And then you start to look at, okay, well, this is where I am. This is where I want to be. What do I need to do? change? My standards. Because my habits and my actions are the children of my standards. When my standards are high, I will have habits and actions that line up with that. Because the way that I see it, personally, I see everything in life as just a test to see how I'm going to show up. It's as if God or the universe is watching me at all points in time. And they're like, hey, Rob, how are you going to show up? Because what I'm going to give you and bless you with in this life is going to be based off of how you show up. If you have low standards, you know, you're going to get low results. If you have really high standards, you're going to get really high results. I try to hold myself to the highest standards that I possibly can because when I do, I find that the universe rewards me. Because one of the things that's super interesting, everybody, is that most people don't hold themselves to high standards. Most people don't even know what a standard is. But when you start to hold yourself to a higher standard, you realize there's very few people in the world that hold themselves to the standards that they really need to, to make greatness out of himself. And when you decide, I'm going to hold myself to a level of accountability and a level of standards that I never have before, it's really crazy how the universe just conspires to be on your side. And you start getting blessings and things that you never thought you could possibly get. And you're like, where in the hell did this come from? I've never seen this before. What happened? It's kind of like the universe is like, hey, good job. You finally did it. Now let me show you what life could be. But it won't give you any of those amazing things until you actually start to make the change. You have to remember the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. And you live and die by your standards. Do the standards that you have now match the standards that you need to create the life that you want. If they do, continue on them. If they don't, 
make a change because that is the only way that your life is going to change is when you figure out what is absolutely unacceptable and what is acceptable and you start to hold yourself to those standards. So that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share it on your Instagram stories and tag me in it. Rob Dial Jr., R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. Once again, we don't have any big corporation that backs us or helps us out here or any of that type of stuff. The only way that we grow and have become one of the top 75 podcasts in the entire world is from you guys sharing it. So I would greatly, greatly appreciate if you would share this on your Instagram stories and tag me. And once again, it's Rob Dial Jr., R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. And I'm going to leave you the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. I appreciate you, and I hope that you have an amazing day.